Okay, guys, so chapter three. This chapter is critical. So this one is called Now What? So chapter one, you know, humble begins, la, 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 you know, the rags to riches story. Chapter two is it's going to be different. And this is important because when you start thinking it's going to be different, I'm going to change things, I'm going to make things happen, perfect. Dream and envision. Okay, we've talked about that now. Chapter three, now what? Execution. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is one of my strengths. And I can be a little intense right here. Like, I get really excited because the dream is free. The hustle is sold separately. So, if you've got all of these visions and all of these dreams and aspirations and all these things you're going to do, that's great. But what are you actually doing? What are you doing? If you're not doing anything, it's not going to happen. And that's just the truth. And I'll tell you, I'm a little strong here because I'm all about all about the execution what is the plan and this is the gap you know everybody has the dream and then you see the success story there's a gap and that gap is execution it's action oriented it's putting things in place it's saying no to some good things so you can say yes to some best things it's about being very intentional about your time two areas and i'll cover this in the book and we'll do some workshops on it but time management and emotional management those two components, we all have 24 hours in the day, okay? You'll have somebody who has nine kids and a sorry husband and they still make it. You'll see someone who overcomes extreme adversity, you know, things personally or even physical and they still make it. It's incredible. Those stories inspire me. They make me want to be better because everybody has 24 hours and whatever you do with it, that's on you. So now what? So in order to have success and create things and make your dreams a reality, you need time management. The next thing that will be critical is emotional management. So time management and then emotional management. Being able to manage your emotions, okay? If you're gonna create a business and you know, uh, build companies and have success, go back to school, get your PhD, whatever your it is, whatever that gap is, exercise, different fitness, different wellness, whatever your it is, you have to learn to control your emotional. Emotional management, successful people are highly intelligent at emotional management. Guys, what makes a divorce worse? No money. What makes, if someone's sick and you need to be their caregiver, no money. What, it's mind boggling to me. Okay, this is where I get really intense. When someone's like, I can't start back to school right now because it's July. What does that have to do with anything? Or I can't, um, you know, I really can't open the company right now because Christmas is in three months. I can tell you I'm very direct here type of mindset you will definitely want to just keep a job you definitely will need to stay in an arena where someone has to micromanage your time because in order to create stuff freedom and flexibility see everyone wants like now what I want it but now what you have to build freedom and flexibility it doesn't just come you don't wake up one day and you're just rich or you've created freedom and flexibility or you've created this a savings account or debt-free whatever your it is that doesn't just happen you create it so if you're unable to continue moving through you can fall down that's you know we got all that but you have to be able to continue moving when Christmas is coming if you have a mindset of one day, one day, you will always be stuck in the same day. Nothing's going to change. So emotional and management, emotional management and time management, two huge components. I'm going to cover more on this, but now what? You got to manage your time or and to manage your time. You run your time or it will run you. And then your emotional intelligence, being able to put boundaries in place, being able to put systems in place, being able to put strategic analytical things in place that helps you control your emotions and your time. That's your now what. This gap has to close because in order to achieve greatness, you have to be able to pull that gap in time management and emotional management. So that is what I'm going to talk about and bring in chapter three. Okay, there we go. Now what?